Game one, Battlefield, because that's a very common starter stage. But Zane's going Roy now. That's some good reaction tech chase right there. Ooh, bad DI. Forward smash. Forward smash, and that's our Zane takes the first stock with Roy. Roy actually has some good stuff on Fox. He doesn't beat Fox on any stage, but he has some good stuff. Especially if the Fox doesn't know about it. Forward smash. And that, see, he doesn't know where to DI. s Fatu and Waveland out, that's not safe. He misses the drill grab combo. s Fat doing wave shot, uh, sh running up shine grab. Good bear. Oh, the last pixel of forward smash. Any closer than that F smash would have missed. Sometimes it's hard to tell Fox does tech in or tech in place. So if you're not sure, you could just grab for the tech in place and then at least you don't get shined or punished if you're wrong. I see a lot of top players do that if they're a little unsure. That's, he's trying to read a jump, but Roy's aerials are bad. Forward smash because it's hard to tech there. That's why might go high because he has more options. And then Zane knows he wants to up B for... Oh. I was gonna say, oh no, I was gonna say four tilt. Oh. Yeah, four tilt, four tilt. Oh, but your sword is shorter than Mars. Very, very, very slightly. But that was the difference there. Oh, that could have been F smash. Four tilt. Uh, if, if Zane did four tilt of Roy, it, he would have killed. Four tilt. Four tilt's better than Zane thinks, it goes lower than he, than he thinks. In my opinion. Ha! Weak F smash! Law, I've never seen weak F smash tipper kill in my life. Until now. Oh, is it, is, S Fat's messing up his downer combos. He's like, not getting the punish. Yeah, he's gonna look for a spot. Zane was looking for spot dodge. He was hoping S Fat spot dodge there. That's why S smash. They may, maybe should have crouched there, or maybe tried to. Oh, somehow missed Fox down tilt. Up throw, probably bear. Yeah, safe, safe and simple, consistent. Up smash, yep, safe and consistent. That's that's very good at safe, consistent play style. S-Fat did once again run up across the stage, shine F-Smash. And now S-Fat's learning to DI the move. And even though Zane knows S-Fat likes the platforms because Roy sucks at uh, beat punishing platforms, there's not much that can be done because Roy can't punish that hard. Yeah, S-Fat's doing the overshoot a lot. Overshoot down tilt this time to catch the dash away. Oh, that, that's fake, but he tried to get it anyway. Risky, he could die right now. Oh! He missed the pivot grab, but he still got the grab. Last hit, S-Fat versus Zane. S-Fat gets the jump read. And S-Fat takes it! S-Fat's looking like he's gonna take the first set against Zane. But now, Zane gets FD. Wait, no, S-Fat's gonna ban FD. So, what's the next best? I don't even know what the next best is. There's like a huge gap after FD. Oh, I guess they go back to Battlefield. Yeah, there's no real second best stage for R Roy. I don't know why Zane ne Zane never does down throw for Roy. 
Oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna recommend for Roy to do jab, but what he did worked out too. But that only worked out because he he chose up B as his option. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, now this is more like it. That's a better position. Yeah, counter or no, F smash, F smash. Or counter or F smash, both work. It's like pick your poison. There's multiple ways to kill here. Ed Ed Chog. Uh, Ed Chog and neutral be both good. It's hard to say with Ed Chog would have worked actually. I'm not sure. Oh, he barely grabbed ledge there. Yeah, Zane really, he focuses really hard on tech in place and then tries to float throughout every option. As you can see there, when Fox does the up B, his head sticks up extra high. Is Zane gonna force stock S5 Roy? Is he gonna force stock S5 Roy? Is he force stocking S5 Roy? <laughs> no, <laughs> Zane's trying to like execution test. Like, you can just, he's gonna jump to a platform because it's easier execution test. SFAT says, no, you would not force stock me. Oh, he was hard reading Tekken Place there. Damn, this looks so different from game one. SFAT is coming back though. But it's it's not enough. There's no way he'll win this game. Unless. Nah. Not he has two stocks at zero on first 59 damage. I don't see it happening. It's the phrase too little too late. But I expect SFAT to like lose this game but then win the set based on how this is going. Cause he's doing a lot better. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Reverse force stock! Wait! Reverse force stock! He didn't get hit that whole stock! He did the 0 96, no damage! The reverse force stock? And now he's almost winning! Now he's winning! Oh, he messed up. Oh, that's it. He almost got the reverse four stock. He almost got the reverse four stock. And now Zane obviously has to ban Dreamland because Roy sucks so bad on Dreamland, it's unwinnable. Go on, you get a lead and go on the platform and you just you can't do anything. Um, I guess Battlefield, you could do that too. He just didn't. Um, I don't really know what they're going to pick after that. Okay, based on how the, that game ended, it was... If, if SFAT just keeps playing the same, he's just going to win game three. It's SFAT's counterpick, and SFAT has, like, just keep it's starting to figure out... I guess you could say maybe figuring out Roy or whatever. So, I'm expecting SFAT to win the next game just based on the way that game ended. Unless SFAT does the shine. The shine 2016. Counterpick FD? No. No shine 2016. And a quick zero death on Roy. Fire Marf dies. Less than 15 seconds. Forward smash. It Roy, Roy doesn't have the option aerial. Your Roy can't do anything this game. Fox is up. Uh, he's just getting. SFAT's just destroying him. SFAT's just destroying him. Yeah. 
Up throw. But you can't. Oh, you have to. Yeah, I guess you have to do that. Uh, chain grab, forward throw, up throw. 50 50. Down throw? No. There's nothing you can do amazing. There's like no amazing option there. That didn't kill? Actually, I don't know if that's stronger or weaker than Mars in this game. The, the, the third hit? Does anybody know if the third hit of side B new neutral is strong or weaker? I'm actually not sure. And it doesn't seem like s can... It, it's pretty much just as I was saying. It's like... He can't really do much. <laughs> well, Zane takes the first stock. I mean, don't test me, takes the first stock. But Zane's as fast not letting him. So wait, that's what makes it a huge win. Oh. <laughs> well. Well. You got you got you got to cheese him three times, dude. It's the only way. At least two times, at least w once or twice. Wait. Oh, that! T I can't believe that center hit. I thought uh, that actually center hit. I thought it was gonna be like a tipper or something. All right, Zane's bringing it back slowly. But this is looking like the end of the Battlefield game. Except, s -Fat's now winning by a lot. The reverse positions. One one, one hit, Roy's off stage. Oh, now s -Fat knows he's scared, so he has to, he has to shield the bear. So s -Fat gets a free grab. Yeah, it is. I, I don't know. s -Fat's too consistent. Forward, yeah, yeah. He knows about up throw forward smash. So he's not going to DI that away. He's... Oh, yeah. It's pretty much over. And S-Fat beats Zane for the first time. Two to one. Nobody beats S-Fat 20 times in a row.